most people, I think, try to think that we can nevertheless justify this kind of interference, but it's controversial. Um, it's least controversial in cases where people seem to be making very obvious mistakes of facts when they're deciding what risks to assume. So John Stuart Mill had this famous example where somebody um, is about to cross a bridge and you know that the bridge is very badly damaged. Um, and you don't know whether or not they know this. Um, and unfortunately, they only speak Japanese and you only speak English. And his argument is that in that sort of case, you might be actually be able to forcibly prevent them from going across the bridge, at least until you know that they know that the bridge is damaged. Right? So the idea would be that certain types of paternalism can be justified when we're interfering with people who are doing things where they don't really know what they're doing. Um, so it's interesting to think about whether or not that could be the sort of argument that you could make with respect to COVID-19. There's certainly lots of disinformation about COVID-19. Um, but it's not completely far-fetched to think that some people might have as at least as reasonable an understanding of the risks that we have. And my own understanding of what they are is minimal just because there are just so many different models and there's so much we don't know. It's not obvious that the people who want to be free to assume these risks um, would be like the man trying to cross the rickety bridge in Mill's example. Um, so it might be a different type of paternalism, a harder form of paternalism, where even if people think that something is in their best interest and, they're, and they know some of the relevant facts about the situation, we can still intervene to sort of prevent them from doing what they want to do. So the, the, the second argument, um, so again, I just leave that hanging, not to say that that sort of decisively settles the case of whether or not you can make an argument, a paternalistic argument, that is effective in, in challenging the claims of people who want to ease lockdown restrictions very quickly, but at least as a set of considerations that might be brought to bear. Mm -hmm.